How often do you hear seconds count in an emergency? Well, there was a fire yesterday in Vienna, and the emergency response included having the right people in the right places at the right time. It was a team effort which definitely saved a life. A fire call in Vienna Tuesday afternoon, and the rush was on at the scene, including Fire Chief Richard Brannan. Well, I got on my hands and knees and got it about 10 feet inside the kitchen. The smoke was almost all the way to the floor. Found out that she was in front of the door. Police officer Brian Darby had grabbed a fire extinguisher and was also there to find a woman named Beverly. The fire was put out, but the smoke was making this a dangerous situation and a difficult rescue. As soon as I opened the door, it kind of pushed me back a little bit, but uh, we knew she was in there somewhere and we can hear her. Just a quick visual map to help you understand this. The distance from the police station to the fire station to the house, all is about 100 yards. The woman in her 80s had made it to the front of the house, but she and her walker were blocking the door. It took another approach. Travis Birch busted a glass window. Tim Podgorny grabbed a piece of carpet and laid it over the broken glass. And Darby was there to assist. Travis just bear hugged her and we grabbed her legs and we pulled her out as the front, you know, the front door window. They said when they broke the window, they looked in her, she was sitting on the floor next to the door you know, waiting for us to grab her, I guess. But she was, it was, I can imagine, very terrifying for her. The woman was carried down the porch stairs where paramedics took over. The fire had originated on the stove. The woman said she had been cooking eggs. The rescue was quite a scramble, but the situation ended sunny side up. It's just a typical day. I mean, we're just lucky we're here for her, and we lucky we got her out, and everybody goes home. Everybody's safe. Yeah, the woman was talking to first responders before she was taken to the hospital. Her dog, Sparky, was moved to a shaded area of the backyard and is doing okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.